Hi, I'm Kyam Seng. We have been very busy creating components recently. In creating components, we usually use existing components to start. Normally, when the amount of p-points for the component is not too much, we can select the p-point in the graphical view or from the p-point list. Sometimes, we look at extrusion geometry and we want to modify the point which the extrusion exists with reference. It can be quite cumbersome because the category modification form cannot sort based on p-point numbers and it is a little too small for me. So, we create a form to overcome this. We will share with you this form which you can download from the link in the description and we will explain to you the structure of the form PML. This is how the form will look like. We key the attributes we want to display, separating them with commas. For a PT set, we can key in, let's key in number, type and reference for the PT set. Load C will load members of the PT set into the table and we can use the form for sorting, etc. And you can navigate to the P point by selecting the rows. With this form, I can sort p-point by number, allowing me to get to the p-point I want. Let's look at another use for the form. I want to check if there are problems with weights in our model. We use reference, name of pipe and VR weight for the attribute. Let's navigate to a branch and load the branch. You can see the components in the branch have weights quite easily from this table. Let's navigate to a zone and load CE. You can see which pipes have problems with the little red icon in the VR weight. Navigate to the pipe and load again and you can see which are the branches with problems. Navigate to the branch and we can pinpoint the component which has no weight. Using command line, let's check the component and also the weight. You can see that there's an issue with the weight. With this form, you can extend the features of Perhaps generating report for missing weight, etc. Next, I'll be discussing the PML of this form. Before I start discussing the PML, I'd like to use the developer feature to assist in running the PML. If you do not have this tab, you can use the configuration options to activate it. we can see the developer tab. Let me open the PML for the form using Notepad++. Notepad++ is a free editor that I like to use. The setup form keyword holds the session on the creation of the layout of the form. Buttons and text are gadgets with the standard PML forms. We can also import c sharp add-in and use them in our form. For this form, we are using the grid control add-in. We use the container keyword to use our c sharp again. Whenever the form is loaded into a system for the first time, we will run the constructor method. This method has the same name as the form. 
After the form is loaded, this method will not run again. I put the message file statement to highlight we are running this method. Next, we look at the initialize method which is referenced by the init call property in the form. This initialize method is executed every time the form is displayed. Next, we look at callbacks. Callbacks are properties with the great gadget which contain information on the command that is executed when, for example, a button is selected. Another method of executing a command is to use event handler. For this case, we activate the method within the form call maybe. I've kept all the commands to be executed within the form. So this form can be used just by installing it in your E3D installation. In addition, we have added feature to bring Excel file into the table. We use the file browser add-in to open the Excel file. Note that XLSX is not supported at the moment. To have more information about the Grid Control API, you can check the E3D help under Grid Control API. Next, we look at how to install the form. You can check the PML link folders and copy to a subdirectory listed in the PML link folder. I have a few PML link folder and you can copy to any of these PML link folder. Clicking on the folder will display the folder. Before you can use the form, you need to use PML rehash all to register the form in the PML.index file. To use the form, we use the show command to show the form. As this is not the first time I'm using the form, I only see the initialized message. We use the Q command to remove the form from memory. And this time, if we use the show command again, you can see that it activates the constructor method besides the initialization method. Go ahead and download the form and use it for whatever that you need to do or expand upon them if you have PML skills. We hope you like this presentation and see you again soon. Bye!